Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Hollow Knight. This is the game that we are revisiting today. It's the absolute blowout hit from 2017. Team Cherry is behind it, and it's an uh, upcoming sequel. Who, who knows when that's going to come out? Um, but eventually, presumably, <laughs> is probably one of the most anticipated games uh, by most indie enthusiasts um the, on the list these days um it's widely regarded as one of the greatest metroidvania you know sold uh, side scrolling sort of games ever um yeah there's there's not a lot you can say that's bad about this game and uh and i thought hey you know what we're, we're sort of changing the channel up a little bit we are doing new and old and there is a chance and i would love a comment there's a chance that people have not seen this game before i know it might blow some people's minds but if you didn't know about this game, let me know. Put it, you know, and and put it on your list because this is sort of if you do enjoy indie games, especially like I said, those sort of Castlevania, Metroidvania sort of games, um, it's kind of a must play. Anyway, so let's jump in, and we will just jump on a new file. Um, we started another one back in the day. We played a little bit of on another channel, I think. Uh, in wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret, for none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed, a world you gave to bug and beast, as they had never dreamed. From Allergy of Hallow Nest, uh, by Monomon the Teacher. Sure, you know what? I, I, do, I have a soft spot for um, little poetic stings like that for storytelling you give me a little poem to read all right i'll call that good writing <laughs> oh goodness gracious that doesn't seem good at all right no yes of course uh, i hope you're taking notes this is all makes sense to you good very good um, uh, so this is one game that I notably, I bounced off hard when I played it back in the day. It, uh, I found I bucked against the control style pretty, pretty significantly. I can't quite remember what now, but there was something to do with the platforming, whether it was too floaty or it felt imprecise. Uh, I've since changed my position, but you know, you, you got to take your L's as much as you take your W's and I I still it's the memory is fading but I actually remember being really quite bullheaded about how much I didn't like the way that this controlled but I've softened since look at me I'm a cool little dude with a cape cloak look at this fuck your doors game by Team Cherry. It's very pretty in a sort of drab kind of depressing way. But there are different biomes, you know, and they explore all the different art styles. But yeah, this this sort of suburbia as it will come to be, like this sort of your hub and, and this sort of area, it is kind of depressing. Uh, but by uh, intention, I think, by design. Uh, higher beings, these words are few alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. So you can collect souls by holding bloody doodappy. Yeah. You can use that to heal. Ring. Oh, it's over here. Oh jeez, watch out for the stalactite, as we like to say around here. Stalactites have to hold it on tight. And that stalagmite might poke you in the asshole if you sit down in a cave. Oh jeez, that was a good shot, look at that. See, it's very easy to remember. Ah, 
I found that absurdist, I don't know what to call it, but sort of absurdist memory technique really helpful to remember stuff in my studies. Not to go into it too much, but back when I was um, uh, a surface warfare officer, you had to, you had to memorize verbatim uh, what, what was referred to as the rules of the road. Which was essentially, it was like doing your driver's test. Uh oh, oh Jesus. Right, and having to know things off. But I'm, I'm telling you, if you literally got a word wrong in the, uh, the pros, right? In the actual definitions and, and rules and regulations, like one word, you got one word wrong, you'd fail and you'd have to, and there was something like a 95% pass mark required. So it was pretty brutal. Anyway, so what am I saying? <laughs> Limericks like Selic tight has to hold on tight. Selic might might poke you in the asshole if you sit down in the middle of a cave. Like the fact that that is just so absurd. Yet one of them, one half of it, makes sense. I found, and I can't tell you the, the ones I used for my my testing because it's just so. Uh, uh, rude because <laughs> I find rude things you remember better as well but yeah absurdist memory exercises always work the best for me because I couldn't forget them um, higher beings uh, these words are for you alone beyond this point you enter the land of king and creator step across this threshold and obey our laws bear witness to the last and only civilization the eternal kingdom hallow nest Oh, okay, if you say so. Oots, oots, oots. God, I hope no one was using this door. Because I'm fucking coming in. Oh, man. There, there is something about this. Like, the, the wind? Yeah. Dirt mouth, the fading town. Hello there, sir. Hello there. Oh there, traveller. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. Elder bug. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, and yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. But watch out, it's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad, and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Oh, perhaps. Just have to sit here and have a little bloody resties. Very cool. Now, these buildings all sort of open up into shops and that. For all your mapping supplies, we'll be opening soon. But uh, for now, there's not much for it. Unto the breach. Which way? Left or right? Now, things like maps and all that sort of stuff, you need to... Unlock at the shop. Belt that dopey dude. Fuck him right off. Hey. Let's have a squiz in here. Temple of the Black Egg. Hello there. Ah, me no I like your hat, mate. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveller in these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've got a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. Oh, we saw this in the cutscene. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange markings all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. Mm. Who indeed? Not me. Not me, the guy who's played this game before. 
Anyway, so you've got that sort of, uh, look, I don't want to say souls-like, because I'm not talking about the combat, but the, the, the sort of drip feeding of, of vague, intentionally vague lore, which so many people have tried to emulate with comedic uh, results. They, they think, like, there's a difference between being interesting and mysterious. There's actually a nuance to that art that can make it quite compelling. But I, I think a lot of amateur sort of, let's say, writers, their takeaway is vague equals interesting. And it's not necessarily the, the formula. <laughs> you get these, you can see them when they're really trying to take inspiration from Dark Souls. Holy shit. Um, I'll just finish my thought. And instead, it's just b broken. It's it's like listening to a broken broadcast over the radio. You know, you know what I mean? It's it's little bits of information broken and torn apart, but not really constructed and engineered in a compelling way. And more just messy. Yeah, exactly like that. Like a broadcast that's busted up. Anyway, let's give this bloke a go. Oh fuck. Ow. Alright, this is not going well for me. <laughs> alright, that's alright. Once he landed that first hit, I was like... Hang on a sec, this is turning against me. I've, I've, I have gone fucked up. Um, but that's okay. Now, I you lose all your souls. We've seen this before. So, we shall go fetch them. We could have gone left back there. There was also a dip down before that boss fight. And this is only the first biome of many. Off we go. This guy looks quite sad. Four blokes. Ow. There you go, heal up a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. So you gotta kill your little... There you go, give me my dollars back. This is a kind of unique little thing, I forgot all about that. Gotta kill your phantom. I think this might be the next biome. It is, yeah. We don't want to go there. We don't want to go there. Not when there's so much more to do here. There you go. Oh, yeah? Um, that's right, yeah, 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 so that handle below will let us through, but for the time being, no go. And I believe, god, it has been a while, if we go all the way around the left, it's sort of a big donut. So that's how you'd, you'd get back to there. Oh. Can I trick you into, oh wow. Well, okay, yeah. I guess we were both fools in that exchange. Look at this bloke. Come here. Stop that. Oh, that's uh... You're making an absolute ass out of yourself, Scarlet. What are you doing? Probably shouldn't have pushed that. There you go. This is like a slug dude up there having a cry. I don't know if we can actually get up there. 
No. You seemed excited for a moment. I hate to give you false hope, little fella, but... I think we're a few upgrades away from... Mm, saving you. That's alright, we'll just persevere. Jeez, I tell you what, we're building up a few coins. I believe there's an NPC down the bottom. Down here. Oh, fuck it. That's one way to go down here. Hello there, sir. Mm. Oh, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Well, don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Absolutely. Hook me up, big dog. Quite a map. Hold left bumper. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've come, oh sorry, if you are, you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Zelda. Uh, she'll just now, she's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an era. She's always so excited to see me. Oh, isn't that lovely? Cool. So now we've got a map. Look at that. And you can see we've explored around a fair bit underneath. Oh, actually, no, no, no. This is just mapping everything. Um, yeah. So we're actually in the top, that sort of top right. No, 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 no. Did we go down that pathway? Must have missed it. Because we're down the bottom left. You can see the symbol of this dude. That's where we are now. And you can see there's another way back under. Oh, that's why we didn't go go through. It's because the, the, the doorway was closed off to us. Huh? So, now where to go? Well, we could, we could double back up to Is Zelda. Let's see what's over here. Just real quickly. Oh. Fuck you. I don't know. Yeah, we need like a double jump. Kind of cool, hey? You see him in the background as well. Oh. Hey, mate. Off you go, little fella. Can't actually remember what they unlock. But hey, it's done now. So we, I believe we can get another upgrade that will chart our location on the on the map. I think is how it works. Oh god, it's hard to it's hard to tell. It's been so long. Anyway, let's. Uh, I guess we could go all the way under. What we, you know, what we'll do is we'll go up to see. His missus, bloody Sharon, or whatever her name is. Let's see what she's selling. Got some rare things for you, stranger. Oops. Oh, whoops. Oh my goodness. No, 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 stop. You're just making mistake after mistake. I thought you were a character for a sec. I was like, what NPCs down here?
Okay. Up we go. Climb back out the well. Oh, for crying out loud, you might want to jump over it, Scarlet. I want to find the little taxi service dude. I find him to be the cutest thing ever. Sort of like a little train dude. I don't know how else to Let's describe it. Hello. <sighs> Bar for nada. Bar for nada. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with. But what a surprise. He's headed down below. Um, he'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I'm, I've not much interest in retail myself. Now, let's see what's here for me to sell. Cool. Not cheap. Quill. Update your map as you explore new areas. Yeah, okay. Bench pin. So this will show you where the benches are, like the little save, the uh, restore points. Cocoons, like that we rescued old mate from. But yeah, so you can add all these bits and bobs to the map, essentially, right? But I think the quill is a must-have. Let's get that. And what's this? The compass as well. It'll pinpoint your location on the map. Incredibly helpful. 220 bucks. Barpanada. Probably want to save up for that. <sighs> okay, see you later. God, she's got a badonka donk, hasn't she? Now, I can't remember if this bloke has anything interesting to say. Did you visit that temple? A strange building, I've heard, though I'd never dare the journey myself. The braver among us once went there to pray, so they felt at peace within the walls. And after a while, they stopped going. I wonder what changed. It's good, you know. Like I said, it, 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 the story writing has got that, th that technique that Dark Souls laid out before it. Um, I think it's quite... Clever, quite inspired. Now, if you have a look at this map, there's a counterclockwise swirl going on. In order to get to that boss, we actually have to go left. Well, that's okay. And that's all because of that locked gate, I think. Or at least we want to be on the other side of that locked gate, on the underside. Um, so we'll go all the way down. Oh, now that was a bit mean. As they say, Bumpanada. <laughs> I saw your wife, mate, and you are punching above your weight range with her. You know, for, well, for a bug chick, I suppose. No, no. Yeah, for some reason it was knocking me back. Oh, I'm locked in. Or are you locked in with me? Bit cruel that you brought a gun. I'm not going to lie. Alright, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Stop spitting. Fuck. Never spit during a fight. What a scumbag move. Alright. Hey! Oh, look at that. It's filling up my bloody... My business. I have a little seat here. Map updated, you say. Hey, there we go. It's added a little bit to the map. You can see the little little dome down below. Nice. Like, as we always say. ba banana. Alright, now what? Hmm. What is going on there? Oh, it's one of those peekaboo boys. Man, it's cool playing this again. Again, like I said, I'd be very keen to hear if, if this is new to you. I don't believe we've covered it on this channel. Yeah, so as much as I'm covering all the new stuff, you know, we're having a little bit of reform on the channel. Not the one that we necessarily intended. 
Um, if you missed, well, I won't go into it, but the, the, the dramas were that I tried doing something a little bit different with the channel and YouTube shit itself. And by YouTube, I mean the automated algorithm and it just had it, it basically, and there were repercussions. And so I'm sort of changing it. Well, not changing it up, but just accepting my fate, let's say, right? And on the back of that, I find myself going, what do I really want to do with my time here on this channel, on this platform? And the answer is showcasing fantastic games, both old and new. That's what actually matters to me. And so here we are. And it seems that there was a way above, but let's just stick with below. We could always go back and have a look. Yes, the train station. Is he here? Oh, don't tease me, game. There he is. He's like the cutest car dog you'll ever see. A toll machine with the symbol of a stag. Insert Geo. Yes. Yep, give it a ring. Come on, Bubby. <laughs> Greetings, little one. The last stag. It's been an age since I last heard the ring of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years, and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depths of the hollow nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform, and I will take you where you need to go. He's, yeah, very cute. But, oh look, he'll take us back to Dirtmouth. Go, baby, go! <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh. I guess that's the elevator switch. In hindsight, it makes sense. Hello? I never thought I'd see such a thing. The stag station has opened. That building lay silent since before even my time. Oh, I've heard the tale of glorious lines, a web of tunnels running through the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. As a narrative, now, again, I'm not really a, uh, a writer. I just, I'm a normie, which means I can detect good writing and shit writing, but I might not have the vocabulary or the nuance to convey uh, what's going on. Um, this dude, being an elder, he sort of, as a narrative device, he has the excuse to know everything, but they've constructed him in such a way that that's exactly what he is. He is an elder. He is a font of knowledge that passes through the town center which is to say he can tell you all these cool stories and in a way relate to you so you're like oh wow i just saw something really cool i just saw the the stagway you know transport dudes you can go and talk to this dude and he'll have something to say about it however because like i said of his elder status the way they've constructed him you know so little said but so much conveyed he doesn't necessarily know firsthand so he can reminisce and say, oh, I've heard about this, that, and the other, and all that, and maybe even give you hints on your uh, adventure. So he's so multifaceted in that he is immediately someone that you can relate to, someone that has something to say about everything that you encounter, and also someone that can give you hints on your journey forward. Anyway, it's just one uh, point of nuance as well. He's not browbeating me with some fucking modern ideological story or a position. I don't really know anything about him, but my God, does this dude value add to the world building and the depth and the immersion that goes with it. Anyway, I just thought that I'd use that as an example. Um, and if you're one of these dickhead modern writers, because I know some devs watch my channel more than they, they, they care to admit, um, and you're wondering why no one wants to listen to your shit writing, well, maybe take that on board, you know? 
Worry about building interesting characters in an interesting world before you worry about a narrative through line. Because what is the story of this? Who knows? It, it's not really super relevant. You're a dude that needs to delve. You have primal motivation. That's all that you need so far. You need motivation, not story. Anyway, a little rant on the end, but it sort of it just boggles my mind when you have a, when you have examples here. I'm not saying I can do Hollow Knight. That's you know it might come across as that, but when you just look at this, how is it not obvious? How is this not emulated en masse by all games? Um, it just it boggles my mind that that if the mold was broken and you had to start from scratch, that's one thing. But you have so many examples of it done right. How the fuck do you get it wrong? Anyway, I digress. As I want to do, Hollow Knight, an absolute classic, a banger. All these years later, what, five years on, something like that, she still holds up like nothing else. Um, again, really want to hear your comments around it. Reminisce with me. Who's played it? Who loves it? Is it on your list? You never got around to it. Is this the first time you've ever seen this? Maybe you don't like it. Maybe you're a contrarian. That's fine. I'll still read your comment. Um, let me know what you reckon, Tim. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.